due. A victory here against Dewsbury, back to back. You've just said it then, the first time in three years. How good is that? Oh, it's, it's a massive victory for us as a club, that one. And uh, we spoke all week again, it's another four pointer. Uh, the team right around us has gone kind of above them now, points difference. Uh, but we dragged them back in. And I was looking at the table, we knew one of Rochdale and uh, Barrow was going to win a game today. So they're going to pick some points up. So it's really important we pick some up as well. Uh, we knew it was going to be tough for the first half. Again, we struggled a bit and 55% uh, completion rate. Uh, Cracked it up in the second half, got back to something reasonable. We're still not probably happy where we were, but we've played, we've played a lot better than that and lost this year. So the big thing is it's two points, it's two points there. Uh, right, big one you said, it's back to back, so but now, now the challenge is can we go three in a row? You mentioned it then, a disappointing first half, but good resilience in the second to get that victory in the end. Yeah, uh, it showed some dogginess and it showed some toughness, and I think we've got that and we've got character this season with the boys. I spoke every week about that resilience and uh, sticking together when the going gets tough. Uh, we spoke at half time about, yeah, we've not played so well, but we're only six points down, so it wasn't the end of the world, and, and we can change a few things around. We were still in the ball game. Uh, I would prefer it if we had an 80 minute one week and maybe win someone with a uh, bit, bit more comfortable. It'd be a bit, bit nicer for us. Uh, my heart rate on sideline, and obviously, like I said before, I'm going greyer every week with uh, pulling me out. But we, we dug in and showed some resilience, and Gab Benyon again, to each our hero. Uh, and they score, we, we score for 16 all and the one point goes over, what are you thinking on the sideline, what's the thought process there for the last <laughs> couple of minutes? You start thinking here we go again don't you and uh, what, what have we actually done not, by not kicking the ball but the set before and getting tackled on the last massive error, so we, dug, we dug in and got, got the ball back and, and went down that end and like I say Gav come up with a massive massive score for us. Uh, like we pulled Dewsbury back in, into the, in, in with us now and uh, started kicking on. I want to be the best in that bottom bit at the moment and then obviously kick on into the next group, the, the group where we don't want to be in the same situation we was last year where we're relying on other people. It is in our hands now. We've got a lot of teams to play down here. Uh, we've been been away to oh, it's halfway through the year now. Uh, we're away from where, where we want to be. We're not, we're not where we want to be, but we're away from uh, where, where we don't want to be. Uh, so it's just, it's just local I'm, a couple of them close ones like I say every week have gone our way we'd be a lot, sitting a lot happier now uh, I'd say around 14 current of safety I think uh, I don't know but so we're three away from that so I'd like to nail them as fast as possible and, and, then, and then build on that and let's see how high we can finish in this league and a lot of the players you mentioned Benyon there he, he played well today he's scored the uh, match winning try Luke Waterworth also played well Paisley played well a few good performances in there yeah obviously we've got some big boys now haven't we with uh, Burn, Benyon and uh, obviously Big Adam comes off the bench and you know we've got some strike and we take some handling around that middle I thought Liam Byrne played really well Luke Waterworth jumping off the back of him was electric in his first, first stint uh, come back on and lifted us in that, in that last stint as well and uh, Billy Billy goes unnoticed every week and he, he comes on at 9 he does his job and then he moves to 13 and he still does his job there and uh, it's going going well I just want to change it with putting Lawton on a bit more strike for the last last 8 minutes the last 10 minutes uh, so we just thought to get Adam back on and skittle a few players around a bit and maybe cause some damage which it fell in our favour. Uh, as I said before, I don't want to go through that every week. And hopefully, it was, it was personal skill what let us down today. Our shape was there, and we sort of got them. But then it was personal skill with a bad pass or uh, a pass behind someone, a pass to floor, to the touch, to, to feet. You know, it's just just our skills off today. Uh, so we'll work on that this week, and obviously get ready for Jewsby next week, which will be. Uh, Again, a tough proposition, especially at their home pitch. They're, they're, they're a much tougher, I'd say, proposition there than what they are here. They play the pitch really well, uh, nice and tight, nice how, how they like it. So uh, we're going to have to front up and, and, and do that battle up front of them. A good game next week, and you say you don't want to do it every week, but we have uh, the Rams again in the 1895 Cup. A good cup, a good chance, and a, uh, another good game. Yeah, it's three games away from Wembley. I just said in the 2 up before, uh, to play at Wembley is a massive... It would be a massive pivotal point in anyone's career. I would have given my right arm to play at Wembley in the Challenge Cup final. Uh, obviously, the closest I got was a quarter final. The new 1895 Cup, I embrace it and I think it's great. Uh, obviously, there'd been no one prouder than me to lead, lead the side out at Wembley. Uh, we have three games away, so let's not get ahead of ourselves. Dewsbury's a massive proposition next week. Uh, today was probably bigger than next week. Up next week now becomes the, the biggest one now, so we've got to kick on. Uh, league, we need to stay in this league. This is the first job. 
and we need to finish as high as we can up, up the league. Uh, the cup's a nice break away from it, and uh, if, if we will, we'll be trying our best to, to get to Wembley. Obviously, it all depends on the draw from Tim Ferguson into the tournament. Kevin, man of the moment, two tries, uh, the game winning try, how does that feel? Yeah, no, class to be fair. You know, um, it was a tough game all the way through, half time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was just swearing after you that. Start again. You got to start again. <laughs> you made me swear. Nice one, lad. Alright, one of the. One of the. I'll start with that. I'll start with a different question now, though. Back to back wins for the Lions, first time in three years, as Stu pointed out to us. How good does that feel? Yeah, really good, you know, obviously not getting that for a long time. You know, I think it's a massive uh, booster for us and the lads, you know, to the fans as well. Confidence booster for us to go again. If we can get another one you know, next week, it's the cup game next week, but you know, I think if we can even win that and then go again, you know, I think it will be massive for us. I think today's win, you know, was just much needed and puts us in a massive position now to go forward. Two tries and your last one that secured it. What are you feeling as you, as you crash over there? Yeah, no, it's a really good feeling, obviously, knowing that you've got over for the winning try. Um, but you couldn't have done that without the other lads on the pitch, you know, getting us into the positions. You know, everyone from 1 to 17 dug in. We didn't give up, you know, they did that drop goal, which, you know, probably could have killed us off with about four minutes to go. But we dug in and we got the ball, but we could, uh, you know, to get that winning try for the lads is, is really good, but we couldn't have done that without else. A tough game, uh, a disappointing first half, I think, um, but it showed resilience in the second half to come back and, and cl clinch the win. Yeah, I thought, obviously, first half, I didn't think we were too bad. You know, skill was a bit off, but I think if we could have nailed it a bit more, we um, could have done a bit better there. But at the end of the day, a win's a win, and second half, yeah, we nailed it, I think. And then we play them again next week in the 1895 Cup. You've talked about it, only a few games away from Wembley, but we can't get too far ahead. But it's a, a good chance and another good game against a, a strong opposition that we've seen today. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we play them at their place, so playing Dewsbury away is a different story playing at home. You know, the pitch is a bit tighter. They know how to play their pitch, it's a tough place to go. So we'll just see what happens next week. Um, but hopefully we can get a win there. You know, maybe end up in Wembley. Um, I think our main focus would be the league, and securing that league position for us.